In today's video, I'm going to be making over this tiny entryway of our home. I have been wanting to update this space for a while now. I really just want to declutter it and have close storage space for our shoes and also have it feel inviting when you walk in that front door. So if you're curious for some small entryway decor ideas, then keep on watching. So this is the shoe cabinet that I found. This is from Ikea. I saw the measurements of it online and it was literally one of the very few ones that would fit on the tiny wall space and what was amazing was that I found this one off Facebook marketplace it's still in great condition Because the entryway is right next to the kitchen, I decided to paint the shoe cabinet the same light gray that I used for our kitchen cabinets. This is going to help everything look very cohesive and the best part was that I had a lot of paint left over from the kitchen makeover. Every time I use this primer, I have to rave about it because it is just the best for when you want to paint laminate furniture, especially your IKEA stuff without needing to sand it. Paint adheres so well to it and I'll link it for you below if you're curious to look into it. Good morning! I'm so excited because um, the rest of everything arrived today. So here is the wallpaper. It's and I really like the little fuzziness on it. I think it's gonna help transition the accent wall to the surrounding walls that are white. Um, and then here's the light fixture that I got. This is frosted like all the lamps that we have in the living room, except this one is a little bit more dome shaped. I wanted something that would match the other light fixtures, but isn't the exact same. And here's the rug that I got, which I love so much. I went ahead and applied the peel and stick wallpaper. This is my first time working with any sort of wallpaper and I was so pleased with how smoothly it went. I started from the top and then peeled it as I went down. Our wall isn't completely straight so there was some wallpaper that bled out of the accent wall so for those areas I went back and ran a utility knife down the edge to cut it off. For the right side of the wall where I don't have a corner to cut against, I used a ruler to keep the cut line straight and this worked magically. Okay, I am obsessed with this wallpaper. It was not as bad as I thought it would be to apply. Because the plaid design is a little fuzzy, it made the edges where the two pieces are next to each other, which is right down here, look really seamless. This joint compound applicator was so helpful while applying this wallpaper, so if you're looking to do any wallpaper projects, I highly recommend a tool like this. The cabinet is fitting flush against the trim and it looks so good. It was giving me anxiety before because it was leaning a little bit, but now it's definitely more straight against the wall. Before sawing down that little bit, I went in and put in the new rug because the rug gives the cabinet a bit of height, so I had to consider that in. I'm loving it. It fits perfectly here. It's just a very simple, neutral rug. I think the darker colored material is jute. Um, and I like how it's woven throughout, so it's going to be very forgiving and not make dirt that visible because this is a very high traffic zone. So this is the original mirror that I was going to go with. This is from Target by Hearth and Hand. I love the curves on it. It really helps break up the plaid lines. It came with a few blemishes, so there's like some scratches here and there, but I figured maybe I can just like cover that up with something because it's not that noticeable. However, on this side, there's like all this residue. I don't know how it came like this. It feels like the sticky stuff that's left over when you peel off a price tag and I tried everything. I tried to blow dry it so that I can easily rub off. Then I also tried using this like grease remover spray that I have, kind of like a goo gone and tried rubbing it off. But when I tried that, it was causing little scratches and I'm just afraid to mess it up even more so I just don't think this is worth keeping 
The good thing is that I have a backup mirror. This one is also from Target and this one definitely gives more of a rustic, whoa, the light flickered, uh, more of a rustic vibe. I like the organic feel of this. The wood brings in a lot of warmth and coziness. It almost looks handmade, which I really like as well. It doesn't look like very obviously from Target or, you know, very trendy. I think I'm just gonna go with the wooden one because the brass one is just like not in a good condition. looking so good. I removed the plastic film off the mirror. I am obsessed with this face. This is a part of Target and Studio McGee's newest spring collection. I love the shape. It really adds a nice curve. Um, it helps break up the rectangular mirror. The speckled design is so cute and I love the texture on it too. This is a little vintage frame that I've just had forever. And then this is a little candlelight um, holder that I got from Hobby Lobby for the fall last year. I feel like this belongs in the bedroom, but I really like the linen cover of it and decided to use it as decor because I have not used this journal in so long. And then here I just put a little tray basket that I got from Target a while ago. I was just thinking about how because the wooden mirror doesn't look so store-bought, it almost looks handmade, it adds a really nice touch of character to this vignette like a mix of old and new. So I'm really happy with this. Jason then helped me add the new light fixture. The brass accent on it ties in so well with the rest of the entryway decor. And finally, I stored away all of our shoes. Jason, my brother, and I can each have our own slot because there's three cabinets and it just feels so nice to have a closed cabinet and this entryway now doesn't look cluttered at all. With such a tall cabinet, we were really able to make the most out of this wall space. So here's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now. And that is a wrap. Let me know below what you think about this entryway. I'm loving how warm and inviting it feels. The plaid wallpaper had such an impact and the entryway also transitions into our kitchen perfectly. If you haven't seen the kitchen makeover, I'll make sure to link it for you below. Like and subscribe to see more home decor videos like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.